Hey guys, today I'm going to be making something sort of silly. Um, it, it, I, I, uh, I'm making a like coffee machine for my Twilight doll because I was like trying to choose like sort of her personality for myself. I mean, I know she comes with a personality, but I was just trying to like make my own up for her. And for a favorite food, I put coffee and yogurt. And I don't drink coffee because I'm just a kid and I'm not allowed to and all that stuff. And I don't know what really real coffee machines are like, but I'm just going to make this one. And I thought I might film it for you guys. Um, yeah. I was making jewelry. It's very cute. I found this broken necklace in our jewelry thing. And I made little miniature charm bracelets. So, yeah, anyways. Now, I don't exactly know what I'll be using. I'll be using a lot of things, and I'll be, you know, using them as I go, so I'm not really sure. I might use this thimble as a coffee cup. Even though it's not a mug, it just seems super cute. Anyway, um, I'm just going to sort of film myself making it, and then, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so here I'm just wrapping a toilet paper roll in silver, you know, metallic like scrapbook paper and I'm using a glue stick and I'm just going to wrap it all the way around so that the entire thing is covered in silver Okay, so once I've done that, now I'm going to roll some more little paper tubes. As you can see, I rolled some paper tubes, and then I cut them in different ways so that I can make a little uh, little holder thingy on my coffee machine. You'll, you'll understand better whenever I get to the very end. So right there. And, and I'm just going to cut it so that it can fit to the curve of the toilet paper roll so that I can glue it on without it being all weird. So I just cut a little loop in it so that it'll fit. And I'm sorry you can't see. All you can see is my feet. So yeah, there I have glued it a bit. So it's one little triangle, or not triangle, but just a little angled thing. And you really can't tell what I'm doing. So there I'm just supporting it with some more glue so that it stays on better. And this is very vague, but don't worry, you'll get it, when it once I'm completely done. And yeah. Now uh, I am now, so I made it so that I can fit my little thimble in there because I want my thimble to be my mug, like I said, so it can fit in there and hold it there. So, yeah, just make sure it fits it. And now I've put a lid, which is the right size for, that it's the right size to fit in the toilet paper roll. So I've just stuck, glued a lid in there. It's right up there. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see better because I get better lighting at the ending of this video. So I have a little lid, and then I also so I, then I made a lid for the coffee machine out of three pieces of craft foam so that it pops on just like that. And I put beads on for the handle. Okay, now I will and explain here. how it works. Um, but before I do, I'll just explain what I've done uh, here. So, um, you saw me, I made the lid. And, of course, this. So, yeah, it's glued on. And then I put in, you know, the little cap in there. So, the lid. And then uh, what you didn't see me do is I glued on these two beads. And then I glued on a piece of craft foam, and then three beads, and then another piece of craft foam on top. And then I glued on these two buttons. So I'll explain how it works. So you would put, uh, just, I mean, it's silly, okay? I'm just warning you all. It's, it's quite silly. 
So you would put the coffee in here and pop on the lid. And then you would press the uh, go button and or possibly this, I'm not exactly sure. And it would start making the coffee and then once it was done, it would pour it into the cup, which you could then take out. And then these are the toppings for it, like whipped cream or nuts or whatever. So these are the toppings that you can put on it. And then yeah. So that's how it works. And I made it for Twyla. And I'm I'm happy with it. It's just like it's one of these little things where it's not very specific, which I just make. So I hope you liked it. I hope you like my invention too. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm gonna make some coffee for my little mug just by taking a piece of craft foam. I've already done this. But pretend this is this is brown. Taking a piece of brown craft foam, pushing the thimble in so that you get an impression. You can't really see it, but there. And then cutting that out. And then trimming, trimming it, trimming, <laughs> and then trimming it so that it fits inside the coffee mug or coffee cup. And then trying to get it out with one hand. And then taking a piece of paper towel, so you know, like, or toilet paper, computer paper, but I'm using paper towel. Crumbling it up and gluing it on top to be the little whipped cream. Now I can take it in and out just by popping it in or popping it out. So then whenever the coffee hasn't yet been made, I can put it here and this can go, oh, oops, in here. And yeah. So, and you could make like a whole bunch of these, like different variations, and just store them in here. And that would be really cool. Um, yeah, you could also, I'm just going to say this because I don't really need to show you. You could also make coffee out by cutting pieces of brown and peach construction paper or brown construction paper. And yeah, so just experiment and have fun with my little idea. So, okay, uh, here's another just a little idea. Just something I invented, which is sort of silly. If she hasn't yet put on the whipped cream yet, like you saw in the beginning of the video, but you don't want to have to like use all that craft foam to make a special one with that whipped cream. You can just take the whipped cream and turn it around and stick it in. And then she's got to coffee with no whipped cream. And once she's put on the whipped cream and the little whipped cream dispenser, you can just turn it back around. And then she's got whipped cream. Yeah. That was sort of silly. There's something seriously wrong with my Twilight Doll's arms. Look, they won't bend. See? They were made terribly wrong and they won't bend. They just won't. No matter how hard I try, they won't bend. It's so sad. But I still love you, Twyla. Oh yeah, she's armless. Okay. Okay. For the third time. Um, sorry for all the sudden, there's more. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's sort of silly. So yeah, bye.